Hi everyone, this is my son Evan uh, and I'm Laura from Polk County Parks and Rec Department and today we're going to do a frog chorus. It's a project that I would normally do with the after school programs. Um, part of my job is to go visit the after school programs every week and bring them a program to do with the kids. So this week would have been a frog chorus. So all of those frogs we caught last week make sounds. They all make different sounds. None of them say ribbit. So we are going to recreate their sounds with things you can find in your house and Evan's going to help. And that way you can also create a frog chorus in your own home. So first things first, we need to gather our materials. Uh, what are we going to need, Evan? Um, two little bells. We're going to need some jingle bells. Yep. We're going to need a comb. We are going to need, oh yeah, very good, some marbles, just glass marbles. And we're also going to need, maybe you've gotten some takeout recently to support some of our local restaurants. You can use one of those containers and put a rubber band on the top. Nice plunking sound. So go ahead and pause the video and collect those materials and then unpause it and follow along. The big frog we found is an American bullfrog, and it sounds like this. You can recreate that bullfrog sound with that takeout container in the rubber band. You just plunk it like this. You want to try? We also found some pickerel frogs, which sound like this. Evan, what do we use to recreate the pickerel frog sound? The comb. The comb. Just run it along the table like this. We found some fowler's toads, and they have a kind of unique sound that sounds kind of like a whistle plus something else mixed in. So. Here's what they sound like. You can make the same sound as a fowler toad with your mouth by whistling plus talking at the same time. Ooh. Right, that noise. So uh, you whistle and ooh at the same time. You want to give it a try? No. No? Okay, I'll do it. Let me get my lips wet. <laughs> That's my best impression of a fowler's toad. The smallest frog we found was a spring peeper. These are the ones you hear in the countryside uh, when you cross over a creek. Um, these are the first frogs you'll hear in the season. This is what they sound like. You can make the same sound as spring peepers by taking those jingle bells and kind of shaking them in your hand like this. The last frog we have sounds for is the northern cricket frog. Um, we didn't find any in the pool last week, but they make a really cool sound. Listen. To make the cricket frog sound, use those marbles and just click them together like this. A frog chorus is when all the frogs get together at a pond in the evening and start calling to each other at the same time. So to recreate that, grab everyone in your house and assign them each a frog's sound and have them all make their sounds at the same time. Kind of like this. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Adults, have fun. Enjoy this frog chorus being brought into your house. Maybe tonight you can go on a walk and see if you can find an actual frog chorus. Um, any kind of small pond or body of water will help, especially with all this rain we've been having. Thanks everyone! Um, take care and see you around! You can make the same sound as a fowler's toad if you whistle, and just talk at the same time. You can make the same sound.
sound. <laughs> I really want. You can make the same sound as a fowler's toad, but. <laughs> I don't know. I'll let you help next time. <laughs>